Brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm here today to talk about my faux locks. Now, just to be clear, this is not a tutorial. I have a tutorial on how to do faux locks, and I will link that below. This is just a show and tell because I've gotten a lot of questions about them. I know faux locks is something that a lot of people have been sort of trying out because it's one way to achieve the style without the commitment of growing locks. I got these done professionally. So my locks were done by a hairstylist named Susie and her salon is located in New York City. However, she does travel to different states at times and does hair. She's phenomenal. She does hair for a lot of celebrities, so she's accustomed to having to do things perfect. Uh, she's done Beyonce's hair, Zoe Kravitz, all kinds of people. Um, so she's very, very good. I have footage of when I was getting my locks done on my vlog channel. On my vlog channel, I sort of take you guys through going to the salon, getting my locks done. You get to meet the hairstylist and they kind of show you a little bit of their personality. So like I said, uh, she came down and did my locks for me and she works with uh, two of her assistants and they're also two excellent hairstylists and they help with the locks. So it took me about two and a half to three hours to do this. And that is amazing because usually this takes a long time. Some people have said it took up to eight hours to do their entire head and my locks are about 16 to 18 inches so they are long and it took a very short time to do them so that was good I was so grateful for that about three hours uh, three and a half after she dipped it in the water and all of that so that was great the experience was wonderful um, she did the medium size so they're not super small and she did use Marley hair I bought my own hair and I brought it with me I want to say I purchased about 10 15 maybe about 15 packs of hair it was a lot of hair the hair probably cost me about a hundred dollars with all the packs that I bought as you can see uh, there's some black and there's like blonde color one thing I think is really cool they do is they kind of like use whatever colors they want to use in the same lock so it'll have blonde and then she'll just transition it out to like a burgundy and then to a black and then to a burgundy and that makes it look really cool and not also uniform i even have a strand that has a little bit of white at the tip right here if you can see that so i think it's kind of dope that they mix the colors like that and they just kind of make it fun and um i've gotten tons of compliments on my hair i mean tons of compliments on my hair i recently just uh crimped it a little bit by braiding it and dipping it in hot water so it's a little bit crimped i've had this in for over a month now um and so i'm ready to take them out only because i don't like having hairstyles for more than a month i get so bored with it um but this style could easily last two to three months easy even after over a month my parting all my lines are still there i mean excellent job and like I said if you want to see the footage of me getting it done you can click right here on my blog channel and you can watch that footage a lot of people wanted to know if they're heavy uh, yes they are heavy I'm not sure if it's heavy if you use a canicoline braiding hair because it's a little bit lighter however the Marley hair looks more realistic it holds better it's heavier I just think it's better hair to use whereas the canicoline hair when you use that hair it gives you more of the silky look those silky locks that you see that's the canicoline hair um, these locks look more like like the yarn locks they just look a little bit more natural I like um, the Marley hair more sleeping with this hair was a struggle is a struggle because of the heaviness of the hair I'm not used to having to sleep with a whole bunch of hair I wasn't wrapping it at first at night I wasn't uh, taking good care of it in that way I'm surprised that it's not completely matted and just a hot mess because of the way I've been treating them um, but if you treat your hair well styles like this they're really really beautiful and they look better with time they look more natural more real with time so um, yeah if you guys have any questions about this let me know I will link my video below on how to do them yourself I did it myself they came out a hot mess in my opinion I was not able to achieve this look with it so um, I personally with a style like this prefer to get it done at the salon thank you all so much for supporting my channel I love you guys dearly leave questions below make sure to subscribe and uh, check out my vlog channel as well if you're into that sort of thing I will talk to you guys later big kisses